Yep, I've got a running fill valve. It won't stop. Worked on this off camera. Adjusted the screw on the side, twisted this off, and flushed it out, thinking maybe it was a you know seal wasn't sealing right underneath, but nothing worked. This uh, toilet's from uh, 2009. So this is 2024, so I guess it's run its course. So I've ordered a new one, replacement. So I'll go ahead and install that when it arrives. And hopefully that'll solve my running water problem in my toilet tank. Alright, so I got a Fluid Master. Uh, this is a complete kit with the uh, fill valve and it comes with a flapper so and I replaced a flapper uh, a few years back but why not if it's got a brand new one I'll just pop that in as well so I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the valve which it is I've already cut it off uh, get everything loose underneath here with the channel locks that I got so I'll go ahead and Flush this, get the water out. I'm just going to let it get as much out as possible. Then I'll probably need to get a bucket to put under there to catch the water when I loosen this uh, fill valve up. So I'll go ahead and get that. And We'll get this thing replaced. Okay. So I got this loose with my channel locks. Okay, it's actually not too bad. Alright, so now I gotta get the base undone under the tank. Alright, let that little bit of water drain out. Alright, so we'll need that. And this is about ready to come out, so I'll reposition the camera. Okay. Alright, so that part's done. get the new fluid master out of the package. And this comes with a new washer and connection for your hose. Also with a new hose, which is good. flapper. Okay, so what I'll go ahead and do, I'm going to get the chain undone here. If 
I can get a little bit of light in here. All right, so that's a little bit better. So now I'll go ahead and get this off. Just put that in the bucket there. I'll go ahead and get this new one installed. So we'll go ahead and put the, the rubber, new rubber washer. Get that on. All right. And one thing these do, uh, they actually can extend out. So I'm going to go ahead and get mine extended to about the same height that it was. That looks about it right there. So we'll go with that. Okay. for the hose. So you want to make sure you have the hose out of the way of the handle here. In some cases you might want to trim it. I'm not going to do that if I don't have to. So that will suffice there. So I'll go ahead and lock this down. installed. Okay. Yeah, that should be good. Alright, so we got that in there. I'm going to go ahead and tighten up the the water line back on. Okay, so we've got that set. We'll go ahead and turn the water back on here. We need to adjust the float. We've got the screw right here, but it should be fine. We'll see once it gets filled up.
Yeah, I'm checking for leaks while it's filling and no water at all. So that's great. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and adjust it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, perfect. So this is a Kohler 1.6 gallon or 6 liter flush toilet. It's about 15 years old. And it had the original guts in it, so this is, yeah, as you can maybe see there, it's got the Kohler uh, Ingenium yeah, Kohler, so this is the original kit for about, yeah, again, it's about 15 years old, so it lasts a good while. If I need to, I might adjust the chain a little bit more. So again, it's kind of trial and error. Okay. Alright, so I'm just kind of guessing here. I've got one, two, three, four, five. I got about 12 links that I've adjusted up. Again, this is just for my toilet. Yeah, that's better. <clears throat> so it picks the float up and stuff. A lot of debris down here. I should just kind of let all that get flushed out. A lot of sediment. And I'm on city water too, so that's. really good. Let me just get some more of that crap out of there. But yeah, so again, just adjust the length as necessary for your particular setup. But yeah, this looks like it's going to work out perfect. So yeah, the Fluid Master, pretty good brand. And again, this is the original Kohler. You know, they've got a Kohler brand out there, about the same price. So if you want to use a genuine Kohler, uh, you know, fill tank, I mean, you can. But if Fluid Master is, you know, a few dollars cheaper, it's the exact same setup. So I guess it all depends on if you want to go with genuine part or something aftermarket. But yeah, I'm pretty pretty satisfied with this. And that's all she wrote. So there you go. Hope that helps you out if you're looking to do something similar. And uh stop your water leak so all right